Welcome back to my Road to Completion Guide for Ghost of Tsushima. This is episode four. Find Yuna to begin a tale called The Warrior's Code. Trade is difficult in these times, my lord. Jin, you found me. Ride through Kinchi Fishing Village and survey the camp across the river. Did you find any samurai to free your uncle? Not yet. I'm still searching. I'm sure you'll find someone soon. Taka can help you after we save him. Hard to believe I might see him soon. He's lucky to have you. You might disagree. That's what siblings are for. What about you? Any brothers or sisters? Lord Shimura is my only family. What will you do when he's free? Take a breath. Because then I'll know there's hope for our island. You feel that strongly? I've watched him win victory against impossible odds. And after your brother is free, what then? Honestly, I haven't had time to think about it. You're riding well. How are your wounds? Mostly healed. Your bandages did the trick. You don't share much about how you feel, do you? <laughs> I suppose you're right. My uncle taught me that a samurai masters his emotions, like you master a horse or a blade. That's a hard way to live. It's not supposed to be easy. There's a spot up ahead that overlooks the river. Should give us a good view of the Mongol camp. There's the camp. Tough to get inside. The Mongols threw that place together in days. There has to be a way in. Let's look. We need to reach Taka without putting him in danger. We'll find a safe approach. You could scare the rocks on that side. If they're loose, they might give way. Alert the guards. Defenses in back are formidable. The front wall there is still under construction. Could be a way in. Let's move. Sneak through the small opening in the fence and assassinate the guard. Taka. He's been through a lot, even before the invasion. But you took care of him. Someone had to. He hated when I stole, but it was that or star. I didn't have a choice. I didn't choose to be a samurai either, but going against my instincts, my code. It's better than getting wiped out by the Mongols. We have to fight back any way we can. Through here. Follow me or the tracks to locate the bear. Stay ready, Jin. Yes, Uncle. If it's still alive, can I take the shot? Prove you can control your emotions. Then... We got him! Careful! He could still be alive. This arrow should not have killed him. Examine the bear to complete the sequence. Look, uncle. There's a gash in his side. Press the touchpad to reveal nearby enemies. Sneak through camps or move in aggressively. It's your choice. It will not affect your ability to unlock trophies. I prefer being aggressive because it's faster, but you can play scenarios out however you want. <laughs> Uh, 
Grab the record and artifact from the tent. Free the prisoner outside and regroup at the river nearby to complete the warrior's code. This action unlocks a trophy called the Point of No Return. Taka? Let's find out. No. It's not Taka. How'd you get in here? We need to go. We'll talk when it's safe. Come on. Let's get to the river. We'll be safe there. Are you with the straw hat, Ronin? Mm. I was. Cut ties with them after they started running low on rations. Lord Shimmer has been captured, and I could use some extra swords to free him. Are you looking for work? No, but the other straw hats may be. Last I heard, they were hunting Mongols in Tsitsu Prefecture, by the coast near the Kishi grasslands. This way. We're looking for my brother, a blacksmith named Taka. Don't know him, but a lot of prisoners move through here. Your legend will increase by completing tales, killing enemies, and several other activities. For the most part, our legend should increase about the same time, but you may end up falling behind or getting slightly ahead of me depending on how many enemies you kill. I say this because we're often in missions where NPCs get kills, and over time, this has the ability to throw off this aspect of the game. Some advancements unlock new ghost weapons, so it doesn't matter when your legend increases as long as you unlock the next ghost weapon on the list. The five primary ghost weapons are represented by circles and the various forms of each ghost weapon are represented by diamonds. We have to unlock all 15 ghost weapons to pop a trophy called every trick in the book. To save time, we can jump from high ledges without taking damage as long as we roll just before hitting the ground. This technique is called safe landing and can be purchased for one point. Remember, you can always buy this technique later if you don't have a point available. You can find the next Inari shrine on the cliff beside the waterfall. You're a good horse, Kage. Fast travel back to the survivor camp, find the nearby cemetery, and kill the enemies. I wonder if Sensei Ishikawa survived the invasion. <laughs> we'll get some rest soon.
Now pray at the altar before killing the enemies at the camp. Grab the artifact by the campfire. Just outside of camp is a fox den. Fox dens are represented by brightly colored trees that really stand out in the environment. Each den has a fox that will lead us to nearby Inari shrines. It isn't necessary to find the fox den to get credit for the Inari shrine, but they really come in handy for navigation. Once again, fast travel to the survivor camp. Follow the trail to Traveler's Rest Inn. Instead of killing all the enemies and liberating this territory, our plan is to farm for a trophy called Flash of Steel. To get this trophy, perform a perfect parry followed by a quick attack on 20 enemies. You will know when you've performed a perfect parry because time will slow down. Remember to block just before their attack lands to trigger the animation. Enemies carrying shields are the easiest to parry, so feel free to kill the other enemies if needed. Just be careful not to kill all the enemies because we can restart the checkpoint to farm this area for the trophy. Yeah! 
When you get the trophy, kill the remaining enemies to liberate the end. If you're having trouble liberating a territory, check outside the general area for enemies. Pray at the altar on the dock, then go upstairs and grab the next artifact. Go to Yoichi's crossroads and liberate that territory. Ha <laughs> 
Grab the artifact by the campfire. Listen out for the singing cricket in the cemetery. We have to collect five singing crickets to unlock a new song for our flute. The new song will help us get a trophy later in the guide. Pray at the altar near the statues before leaving the area. Honor the Inari Shrine on the way to Hiyoshi Springs. She springs. Perhaps. Looks me to Sensei Ishikawa. Talk to the lady to gain access to the next hot spring. Hello. 
You must be weary from battle. Bathing in the hot springs restores your spirit, and if you make a habit of it, the waters will grant you a long and prosperous life. Enter here. The waters are warm and calming. can find the next record in the watchtower. Go across the bridge and check the first house on the left for another record. Grab the flower on the way to the bamboo strike. Bamboo strikes increase our resolve, and we have to complete all 16 to get credit toward the body, mind, and spirit trophy. My lord, would that be the blade of Clan Sakai? Input the button combination in the correct order to successfully cut the bamboo. The button combination will disappear after the first button is pressed, but you can pause the video and use my gameplay to input the combination correctly. Check the house behind the bamboo strike for another record. On the way out of town, grab the leather inside the house on the left. Pick the flower by the waterfall and climb the mountain out back.
Grab the headband at Sensei Ishikawa's dojo. Sensei Ishikawa's dojo. Pick the flower and then talk to Sensei Ishikawa to start another tale. Follow Sensei Ishikawa, kill the enemies, and examine the campsite. Who else made it out of Kumuda? No one knows. Are there any others who can fight back? Besides us? I don't know yet. You'd better find out quickly. We can't free your uncle by ourselves. I can help track your student. I need no help tracking Tomoe. Tomoe? A woman? From what clan? No clan. A peasant. But she can outshoot any samurai I know. <laughs> Even you, Sakai. The last time I saw you was ten years ago. You came to study with me. You remember? I remember most of the students I reject. Instead, you took this Tomoe as your student. You showed promise. Tomoe is a prodigy. Mongols, take them. Hoi! They fight like drunk Tanuki. They fought well enough at Komoda. Even Tanuki can catch a tiger when it's sleeping. The moist trail picks up here. Come! The Mongols took Fort Nakayama. The patrol likely came from there. That's close to the hot springs. The town will be the next to fall. Something happened here. An ambush. Look around. Rice and millet. Left uneaten. The attack was sudden. Blood. But not much. No one died. A Japanese quiver. A gift to my greatest student. I fear the worst. The fort is nearby. Turn around and run up the hill to trigger a fast travel point at the survivor camp. Sakai! Now follow the sensei to learn how to use a bow. Sakai, I should have fought the Komura with you. Better you didn't. We lost enough there. Why did the samurai fail? The Mongols fought like animals. Wrong answer. I saw it with my own eyes. An archer's aim relies not on eyes, but on body, mind, and spirit. Try it out before we go into battle. Aim for that lamp closest to us. Now the one further down the road, on the left. Bad. Let's see if you can hit the one furthest away.
How does it feel? Like it was made for me. It wasn't. So take good care of it. Let's go. Kill all the enemies at Fort Nakayama. How you kill the enemies is up to you. A bow like this would have helped at Komodo. It is a good bow. But victory is won by warriors, not weapons. You haven't seen the Mongols fire weapons. They have not yet won. Fort Nakayama. I hope your student is inside. We'll get a better look at the defenses from up there. Perfect. What can we use to our advantage? Hornet nests. One shot could stir them up. Mm, the Mongols will face the sting of insects and arrows. Those barrels could do some damage. We'll find out. An arrow in those hanging lights will kick up sparks. <laughs> and start fires. They have many archers. They're skilled, but we are better. Examine the arrows in the shooting range, the scroll on the table, and the outfit on display in the large building. These arrows are Japanese. They're Tomoe's arrows. You are sure? I taught her to make the knock with deer horn. 
and that curve of the eagle feathers. So the Mongols took her weapons? The shots are tightly clustered. No Mongol shoots Japanese arrows with such skill. Huh. Then they allowed her to use a bow. Scroll. Archery terms with Mongolian translations. Your name is mentioned. She was teaching them my way of the bow. Ha. Someone's personal quarters. A woman's kimono. Tomoe's kimono. The Mongols freed her. Why? Finish the tale by talking to the NPC and Sensei Ishikawa. My name is Exonovan, and I'll see you in the next one. Be good. Please! It's so cold! I should have killed her. Sensei? Tomoe won her freedom. And she joined the Mongols. Why would she do that? What happened? I pushed her too hard. Pushed her how? What are you hiding? Sensei! Thank <laughs> you.